All right, so it's about 6.55. I'm going to go hop on the treadmill because the air quality is really bad, and the gym is about to open up. So I'm going to run for like 30 minutes today, maybe four miles probably. That's what it will be. So, yeah, that's what we got going on. Okay, so here's the part of the audio that just got cut out and just a quick voiceover so you can kind of see what it looks like and my frustration afterwards. Okay, so unfortunately, the only video that has audio was the very first one this morning. Um, it is what it is. It happens. Um, so today, instead, I'm going to have a blanked out part of one part of the videos and it's after the lift and I'll just show it for like five seconds because so you can see what it sounds like and what it's like but I'll just go over right now instead of kind of doing that for the entire thing and trying to voice it all over because that would just be a pain so instead I'm just going to kind of go over everything for the day um this morning was a run on the treadmill about 20 minutes on the treadmill and then I ran back to um I had to run back around the sports complex because I left my AirPods there, and I jogged back to H as well. So it was about three miles, 22 minutes, give or take. Um, and then had class, went really well, uh, 8.30 to 11. Um, and then 11.45, 12.45, grabbed some lunch. We went from there. Had some pre-workout because chest, triceps, shoulders. You'll see that as the only clip just because – I flex arm sometimes. <laughs> Gotta be proud of something that I'm doing sometimes. It, that's something that I struggle with. I'm trying to be proud about my accomplishments and what I've done without being arrogant. Which, I don't know. I don't know if people think about that a lot. But that's something that I think that I struggle with. So, that's something that I'm working on as well. Um, so, we had a lift for about hour 15 minutes. Hit abs and then chest, triceps, and shoulders. Um... And then we went and hopped on the bike for 75 minutes. Really good bike session. Rolled out because my knee was hurting a little bit, but it feels pretty fine now. I've ha I'm not super worried about that. I think I talked about it in one of the videos, but you can't hear it, and it's not here. Um, so there's that. Um, my knee was hurting a little bit just because tight IT bands, tight hip flexors. Rolled out. Feels fine now. Normal thing. Had it, had, Felt that, ex that, that pain more of just the kind of my body telling me to go roll um feeling so felt that plenty of times when did that feel fine now awesome uh hopped in the pool swam thousand meters straight um the way that samir kind of wanted me to 400 meters easy 300 meters kind of moderate 200 fast ish 100 pretty fast as that's what he said was a warm-up and right now that's kind of all i can do but it was all it was, I didn't kick at all. It was like 20 minutes. So that was awesome. Great advice because kicking does take up a lot of energy. And when I'm in the ocean, I think that just relying on my shoulders for that will be awesome. So taking that advice, um, s swim felt amazing. It, it was awesome. I was tired, but that was great. My shoulders were, my shoulders were feeling it, but it, it was a great swim. Best I've swam since I started swimming again. So that was awesome. Um, then right as I left the gym, I practiced handoffs for a relay race this weekend so yeah i'll, I'll update you about that on s in saturday's video um so yeah that's that's something that's also going on that i'm super excited for um i'll explain it later hopefully the air quality is not too bad it's supposed to be really bad this weekend um but in the mornings it's not usually too bad but it's if it's if it's too bad i just won't race it and i've already told kennedy that and i think he's fine with that um so yeah, that's kind of what I've got going on. Kind of sucks that everything else got, the, the audio didn't work, but that's life. It happens. Um, so grateful for all the exercise that I did today, one. Um, let's think. I didn't, I didn't think about getting to this part. Yikes. Um, I, I also wanted to kind of show you all of the vitamins that I'm taking, because I might as well, um, and kind of explain why I'm taking them. So... First of all, creatine um, helps in the processing and creation of ATP more than just storing water in your muscles. Then, of course, a multi that's kind of right there on it's, it's holding up my phone, so I can't really 
show you what that is, but that's just in case I don't get any vitamins that I need and stuff like that. And then I take, ooh, I'm gonna show you. Allergy pill, just cause dust, pollen, not too fun, helps with breathing. Bulk Costco supplements, shout out, Steiny mom, love you mom. Um, calcium, magnesium, and zinc. That's what that is. Um, I was told to take calcium because I don't eat a ton of dairy. Then fish oil. Ooh, fish oil. Because the lack of oil that was produced in my eyes, which caused a ton of styes. And because I don't, didn't blink correctly. And it's also good for your heart. So cardio and fish oil. Might as well. So I think that is all of the daily supplements that I take. Then I also have ibuprofen in case I need some of that and on Mondays, Tuesdays, Thursdays and Fridays some pre-workout um, that's mainly just for enjoyment honestly because that's the only time I have caffeine and it's nice and also Wednesdays and Saturdays are my leg days and it's not that I don't take those seriously I do it's just that those are a lot more functional days because I'm already getting a ton a ton of volume on my legs so those I don't need caffeine for because not that I don't take them as hard, but rather that I'm taking a different approach because I'm not training them in the same way. So yeah, um, and I'm also not training for squatting anything heavy anytime soon. Those days are long gone. My hips and my back cannot handle that. Um, but maybe maybe that'll happen again. Maybe that that that's something that could happen in the future. So thankful for being able to run inside, realizing that the air quality is not too hot, so I'm glad that I can do that, um, let's see, let me, let me think for all of two seconds, there's gonna be a cut right here, all right, and I'm also really grateful and thankful for feeling joy in running and exercising again, because I feel like I've touched on that a little bit, but I haven't had fun running or exercising since training last summer, and it was just really fun, it felt really monotonous, and now I've now I'm having a ton of fun, as well as the advice from Samir, back-to-back -back days, I know, but it really is, it's been a day of me listening to somebody that knows what they're doing, and it's already improved what I, my training and what I'm thinking for, what I'm thinking for, yeah, what what I'm thinking about doing for this training, because it's, it's definitely different, and having advice is always awesome, so keeping that open mind and always learning is something that I really want to do, so yeah. That's what we got. Um, I will show you the daily workouts and breakdowns after this. So that's the entire video for the day. So this is the end of the video, just kind of going over everything that I did. Ran for about three miles, 22 minutes. Abs, chest, triceps, shoulders, hour and a half. Biked 75 minutes, swam for a thousand meters. So that was pretty much everything for the day. And then I hopped in the cold tub for a couple minutes. Um, hopped in the sauna for 15 minutes and then 10 minutes after I got out to drink some water. And yeah, that's pretty much it for the day. Um, really good training day, felt awesome. And then also practiced handoffs at the end of the day. So I think I kind of went over that as well, but that's pretty much it. So yeah.